I'm Divya and welcome to my studio. I have a fun project planned for you today. I have some gift wrapper I've been holding for some time now and some imitation gold leaf and I thought I'll try uh, mixing that up with decoupage. Let's just get started. Okay. I've had these forever. This is what I had in mind. This paper is not too thick or too thin. It's uh, perfect for decoupage. It already had some gold foiling and that's what inspired the idea. I had a box from an older experiment um, and I thought it will be perfect for this project. I start off by measuring the lid of the box and I add a couple of centimeters on both sides. Always cut your paper slightly larger than the surface. Two reasons. One, if you cut it exactly to size, it could shift when you're gluing it down. And the second reason, Usually the surfaces that I'm using, the for example, this box, this MDF box is hand assembled and um, there could be slight differences in the measurements as in it might not measure exactly the same on both sides. There could be a slight difference and if I'm cutting it exactly to size, sometimes um, it doesn't fit right. I'm using a medium sized flat brush for this. And I'm using acrylic gel medium. The reason I use gel medium is because it's cheaper and for me personally, I have had better results. You could definitely use Mod Podge or any other decoupage glue you have on hand. Before you start, keep a clean piece of tissue or a cloth handy. Another thing to remember here, a pro tip, is too much glue or too little glue will ruin your finish. You need to find the balance and I know it's easier said than done but trust me with enough practice you'll understand um, how much is too much. Make sure you run your brush on all the sides uh, covering the entire surface and um, removing any extra glue, any excess glue. Once you're happy with your surface and it feels like you've covered the entire area, uh, gently press down your paper. This is where the tissue paper comes handy. You can use that and press down the paper nicely, firmly to the surface. I'm going to leave this alone for some time. I let it dry for 15 to 20 minutes and I will now sand off the edges. I'm using the fine sand paper. Now that I think about it, I should have covered the sides or wrapped the entire lid with paper. That would have looked really nice. Um, I just didn't think of it uh, while I was cutting the paper. I should have cut a little extra and I could have wrapped it around, uh, but that's okay. I'm using a fine sandpaper and I will now sand off the extra edges. The trick here is to strike the sandpaper exactly on that edge this will tear the paper cleanly and it won't hurt rest of the paper if you don't sand just on the edges if you're not careful you could pull out the print on the sides of the paper so you just want to be careful here strike only on the edge this does take slightly longer than um, tissue because the paper is thick but uh, once it's done it will be absolutely worth it. I'm just running my fingers around the edges to see if I've gotten a clean smooth finish um, and now uh, I will move on to the sides. Another pro tip don't stick the paper on two adjacent sides always work on opposite sides Finish that, glue it down, sand it down, seal it, and then work on the other two sides. This will help you give a clean finish. It will help you cut, paste cleanly and also sand well. I forgot to pull out the hardware at the beginning of the project. Now 
Since this box was painted, I am just running the sandpaper over where the hinges were just to give me a clean smooth finish. Gel medium and I'll repeat the steps. I am gluing it down, I am applying glue on the entire surface and I am pressing down the paper. <laughs> At this point I also realized that the print should have been running vertically. Um, it would have looked um, better that way, but that's okay. I press it down and then I'm turning, I'm turning it around and pasting the opposite side. This is very important. Make sure you work on opposite sides. Finish this two sides and then work on the other two sides. Brush on some glue and press it down. I'm going to let this dry for 15-20 minutes and sand. While these two sides are drying, I'm going to work on the lid. I'm going to apply another layer of gel medium. I want to seal this paper. The reason I'm sealing it right now and not later is because you will see me add gold, gold foil and distress and some paint to distress the edges. I will have better control over uh, these mediums if this paper is sealed and smooth. Uh, if it's too porous, it could hurt the paper. I hope that made sense. I'm giving a thin even coat of gel medium. You could again use decoupage, glue or mud podge. I just want to protect the paper and uh, before I do any of the steps, I just would like to seal it. So that's the reason I'm sealing it right now. Gel medium is not heat resistant so or um, not very water resistant. So this is not my final varnish. I will be varnishing um, at the end of the project. This is just um a layer of one this is just a layer of medium that will protect um the paper imagine a thin plastic sheet over the paper that's what this is i'm going to repeat the process um on the two sides that have been drying gel medium again takes say 15 to 20 minutes to dry i will leave it alone to dry and now work on the other two sides because there's all there's paper on the adjacent sides you have to be slightly careful when you apply glue just make sure that there is no excess glue uh, pouring onto these sides um, once you have applied, once you've finished applying the glue on the surface, um, what I do is I just run my fingers around the edges, pick up any extra glue, wipe off any extra glue. I'll repeat the steps on both sides and set the side. While the box is drying, I wanted to try out a new product. I wanted to add these cute ornate little metal legs to the box. Uh, the the legs are a dark bronze color not really it doesn't really go with my light pink green and gold theme um, so I decided to paint the metal and the product that I have is a, a patina for metal it's by Ranger I will leave a link to where I bought this in the description box below make sure to check it out they did have a lot of other colors and um, they also sold them in sets and packs of three i just bought this one green color uh, because i wanted to try it out i'm pretty sure it's uh, i'm pretty sure it's water-based and non-toxic um, but uh, just to be sure i'm wearing a pair of gloves the patina feels just like any paint it's just very smooth and uh, slightly runny so um, 
I'm applying it on I'm applying it on the feet one coat looks like it is good enough coverage I will um, I'll try and show you a close-up I'm also going to add a little bit uh, I'm also going to add a touch of gold and bronze um, back on the metal uh, leg the this these are just acrylic paints um, and I'm going to dab it along with that green patina I just googled these products apparently these are water-based and permanent after they dry they come in five or six um, they come in five or six colors and uh, they also have another glaze that acts as varnish apparently you use that for a raw metal I'm thinking the for the for my legs um, I don't need to varnish I'm just going to leave it as it is and check it out I am linking a few videos that I've watched they are from <laughs> eight years ago from 2012 so guess this is not a new product I just seem to have discovered it I like it and I'm sure I'm going to use it again apparently these can be used on any non-porous surface it just does it need not just be metal I hope you're able to see how the original uh, how the original leg looked compared to what I just uh, altered Once I'm done playing doctor and pretending I just performed a life-altering surgery, I move on to the next step. Because I've already glued down the other sides, they're pretty safe. I, I will just make sure to be extra careful while I'm sanding um, these edges and uh, everything should be okay. If I was working on two edges and sides at the same time, this step would have been impossible. This is why I always work on opposite sides, finish them, seal them, and then work on the other two sides. Look cute. Looking cute. I'm just sealing the last two sides. The lid of the box had a slight tinge of green from my previous project. Uh, I'm just adding some gold paint on it to match the gold foiling of the wrapper. Moving on to the exciting part, gold foiling. I bought this pack many, many years ago. I've had this for very long and I've not used it. Um, I bought it on Amazon and I think I paid about 300 or 400 rupees. I'm I applied a little bit of glue in some areas and just pressed down the leaf. The leaf was really, really, really delicate and I have the most sticky, pudgy, <laughs> non-delicate fingers ever and uh, so I'm not gonna lie this was a challenge I was actually pretty <laughs> overwhelmed um, but uh, it was quite fun I'm sure with maybe a couple of um, projects I could get a hang of it but uh, it was definitely um, slightly overwhelming I'm applying the same gel medium for gluing down the gold foil as well you do get specialized gold foil varnish and glue um, I don't have that on hand I haven't tried them um, I might buy them sometime and try it out but uh, I wanted to try it with the supplies I have on hand and uh, to be honest I think it worked out really good so I would say you could try it with whatever glue you have on hand I'm not pressing the uh, leaf down too much. I'm just letting it uh, stick um, lightly. Uh, I'm just pressing it very lightly in that area. Um, just letting it stick to the glue a little bit. I will need to burnish, burnish, burnish. I will need to burnish. I'm sticking with the word burnish. I will need to burnish this later. Um, I will come back uh, and do that with, with the brush. 
so while i noticed while i was doing this the gold um the color dulled down a bit uh and the foil started to have um a lot of scratches on it if um i can't quite explain it it didn't look bad by any means it looked great uh but it definitely looked different than what i started off and uh, i have seen some videos and i've seen people do gold foiling and i've seen them use a brush uh so maybe this is not the wrong way to do it um but uh, what i'll do because this is my first time i'm not sure what i'll do is is the next time i'm trying this out i will experiment and see if there's a better way to do it and i will show it to you guys for now this is burnishing with a brush i hope the word is burnishing i think this looks super pretty i'm repeating the steps on all this all the other sides as well I bought this pack many many years ago. I've had this for very long and I've not used it. Um I bought it on Amazon and I think I paid about 300 or 400 rupees. Um I'm not sure if the same exact product is available, but I will leave a link. I will leave links to where else you can find them. These are not food grade safe. So, uh make sure you're not uh using them Make sure you're not using this on cutlery. This is for decor purpose only. This pack comes with ten sheets. I used one for the entire project. I'm putting the hardware back on. It is a weird green color from the previous um uh, project. I will go over this with some gold acrylic paint. Um and again I'm just lightly brushing it so that's not a problem. The 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 hardware already has gesso and so the metallic paint will so the acrylic paint will stick on it. That's not a problem. You could also actually just gold foil it. um and i think that look very pretty i'm also going to be painting the inside of the lid uh the lip um gold to match the other side this next step is optional i'm going to be distressing the box with some acrylic paints i'm going to show you how to distress with some acrylic paints uh i'm picking uh gold bronze and a little bit of pink and uh, i'll try and show you the difference on the um distressed side and the non distressed side and hopefully you can see um and hopefully the camera picks it up and you can see uh what i mean the re uh, there are a couple of reasons why i do this one i like a uh, an aged um slightly vintage um uh, looking pieces the second is it brings when i'm using the colors um when i'm using the colors of the box and distressing the project it kind of brings everything together so that pink for example that pink uh, that you see in the roses is just on the roses and nowhere else on the box i'm adding a light i'm adding a little bit of pink on a little on the lid on on the side somewhere and somewhere a little bit on the edges and that just kind of um the color kind of just flows around the project and just brings everything together again this like i said this is very personal it you might not um see the value in this or and honestly you might just not like uh, <laughs> doing this um and that's perfectly fine you can just skip to the next step
I hope you're able to see uh, the, those subtle changes. Um, this is the side that doesn't have any distress on it. Um, I hope you're able to see. And this one has a little bit of pink and gold all around. Do let me know if you're able to see this and what you think of this. The trick to this looking really nice is you give slight subtle hints of, of paint and you don't overdo it. It just has to be um, a hint of a certain type of color, a hint of gold here and there, a hint of pink here and there. And um, if, if you overdo it, then it just looks too forced and um, um, it, it doesn't look really nice. It doesn't look nice. To stick the metal legs, I have uh, industrial strength glue E6000. If you don't have this, you could just use um, any strong adhesive. I have um, I have this on hand and I know this works really well with metal. I am also pulling out my trusty <laughs> gloves. So I usually let the metal dry for at least a day. If you'd like to buy this box, it'll be available for sale. I will start taking orders. Please leave me a message on Facebook or Instagram. I go by Yelling Yellow. Or leave me an email at studioyellingyellow at gmail.com and uh, I can make a custom piece for you. I'm taking orders again uh, and I'm excited about that. So let me know if you want to buy any of the products that you see on my channel. This is what the box is looking like. I have painted the hinges like I mentioned. If this piece inspired you to try something on your own, I'd love to see what you make. Please tag me uh, at Yelling Yellow on Facebook or Instagram, or you could also email me a picture. I promise to check out your work, give you any feedback, and give you a shout out and uh, share some love as well. Last step is varnish. The reason we're varnishing, we're the reason we're adding this varnish is because we want the piece to be dust resistant, heat resistant, water, scratch and fade resistant. And this varnish is perfect for that. The varnish I use is from Asian Paints. It's, it's called Aquador and it's a PU varnish. It's a water-based PU varnish. It's actually for furniture, but it works very well for all the decoupage projects that I work on. This varnish is available with most of the hardware stores that sell Asian paints products. If you can't find this one, if you can't find this varnish, that's absolutely okay. You can just use any top coat varnish that you have. I apply thin even coats. Um, th since this is just a deck desk accessory, desk. since <laughs> this is just a desk accessory, I am just giving it one coat and that'll be enough. If this were going in the kitchen or if I'm expecting a lot of wear and tear, then I could give it two coats, two or three coats. Varnish generally, this varnish is generally um, dry to touch within five, 10 minutes, but I still like to leave it to cure for uh, a few days minimum. The longer, the, the longer you wait, the better before you start using it. I was a little worried when I was brushing the varnish over gold foil. I didn't know if it'll react, um, it'll pull out, it'll dull, dullen it out. I wasn't sure what will happen, but I'm very happy to report that it looked exactly same. And I think um, I'm able to pull this off with all the supplies I already have at home. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, show me some love and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.